Hello everybody and welcome to the first educational video. We're going to begin with the basics, then we're going to move on to the more advanced things. So in this lesson, we're going to discuss the key theory and the main aspects of risk management, the trading edge and the planning. Trading takes time. You should never stop. Nobody is being what they are now just by working at 50% capacity. Do not expect to be a pro and chart only 8 hours a week. Losses are normal in trading, so you have to keep going. And you need to put in the time and accept the losses and to learn from them. 3 to 5 years is the average amount of time for a trader to be profitable. Now, about charting, I believe if you invest more energy and if you invest more of your time inside the charts, you can make this period between three and five years a little bit shorter. So this can be this can be a faster process about the learning from the losses. This is the main reason why I have added the trade recaps into the server, because I believe we can learn not only from the wins, but from the losses as well. So I believe this is a very sessional key point of the network. So I believe this is a very key process in the learning. And also, what I would say is about the losses, I believe that you have to manage risk accordingly, okay? You have to manage risk accordingly. You never know which trade is gonna play your way, which trade is gonna go the other way. You never really know that because um, none of us is like a wizard. We don't have um, vision on what's gonna happen next on 100%. We're trading the probabilities, remember this. So I believe this is the this is the more the most key to be able to, to to be aware of this. And the reason why I'm telling you this information is for a reality check. Because you know what I would say a lot of people go into trading, get the Lambo, get the Bentley, stuff like this. Guys, focus on the freedom that you can gain. You know, you can be either a slave. You can work at the time they tell you to work. You can eat the time when they tell you to eat. Essentially, what I would say is when you begin trading, get extract money to cover like your basic things, like to cover your rent, to cover your electricity bill, cover something, okay? And then move on to the ladder and, you know, elevate into the game because this is a war, okay? You, you basically, you know, most of the times when you look at the candlestick, when you look at the chart, the person you're fighting against is everybody behind the chart, okay? Everybody that's behind the chart. And the other person that you're fighting with is yourself. So it's essentially like, exactly like a war field, okay? So you have to conquer yourself, you have to conquer your emotions, you have to be able to read the chart accordingly. So th th this is a very nice reality check, which I want to make you guys aware of. Be aware of this. As, as I'm saying, begin small, and then grow and then climb the ladder. You know, from trading you can gain, you can gain not only financial freedom, you gain the time freedom, which is, I believe, the most important thing. Because as I said, in order to get money, because none of us is printing money, we are taking money. The only people that are printing, that are making money is the Federal Reserve because they are creating it. So essentially, we are the people that we have to take money. So in order to take money, you can either do it by, let's say, salary, selling information, trading, you know, providing service, anything. OK, so I believe that if you want to extract money from the market, you have to be able to conquer yourself. You have to conquer the chart. And by doing this, you're going to be able to extract money from the chart, from the market. Um, but as I'm saying, if you're gonna be extracting money from like a job you're gonna be you, you have to comply with them okay you have to eat the time they tell you to eat you have to work when they tell you to work so on and so forth so if you want to conquer this skill trading you have to listen to this you have to be you know i can give you the rules i can tell you what to do but from then on it's up to you to decide if you're gonna do it or not but if you're gonna do it be consistent and just play the rules that's it play the rules one key aspect that distinguishes professional traders from amateurs is consistency in taking profitable trades 
find a strategy that works best for you and just repeat it. A very simple process. The process is simple, okay? It's, it's simply explained, it's um, simply working, but the hard part is conquering yourself and conquering the chart. This is the hard part. Trading is not easy money, it's very difficult and time consuming to become profitable. And you know, you have to find a strategy that works best for you and just repeat it time over time, time over time, you know, finding that edge and just repeating the same thing essentially. It's a loop, okay? Trading is a loop. So, you know, when people begin, they like, they got caught up in the loop of trying to find a method that works, you know, moving from um, smart money concepts to um, pivots to, you, you name it, you know, every single indicator, you know, RSI, OBV, or so on and so forth. Then when you find the methodology, from then you switch the loop. So when you switch the loop, you just switch it to, you know, the risk management loop, the consistency loop. It's again the same thing, so on and so forth. It's not get rich quick scheme. As I said, you know, a lot of people get into the thought process, come in, get the Lambo, get the Bentley. It doesn't work like this. You know, it's you should not focus on the small term picture, but rather focus on the long term vision. You know, when you build the gains, what you want, what you want to do with the gains. You know, some people want to let's say retire the parents, um, invest into other things. Let's say move on to the real estate. You know, create different companies, provide services. You know, you you gotta have a plan about your long term vision. What exactly you want to get from it. So trading is about the longevity with a top priority of risk management. The long-term vision must be staying in a consistent gains over time. So you can be compounding the you can be compounding the interest. I'm gonna have a separate talk about this because, in my opinion, some people compound interest, some people don't. Depends on the account size, to be honest with you. Depends on the account size. But I'm gonna have a separate talk about this. So let's say that's a, and that's an example. One trader risks two percent of the account on each trade, while the second one risks ten percent. So each trader has ten losing trades in a row. The first one has like sixteen point six k left, and the other one has seven point seven. So one of the reasons why Binance have this kind of a scale and even Bybit and some other exchanges, you know, to use 25, 50, 75. The reason for this is them to take your money. This is a very deep rabbit hole, guys. You know, none of the exchanges wants you to win. None of the exchanges, none of the brokers wants you to win. The only person that wants you to win is me and yourself. So be aware of this. If you're risking 2% per trade, you're going to have a bit better your risk management than the person that is risking 10%. The reason why I'm saying a bit better is that my opinion 2% is still, is still a bit um, too much, I would say, in my opinion. Uh, again, the thing that I'm sa saying right now is just the basic theory, you know. I'm not getting into more details about the risk management on this presentation. Now, about the risk management, there are two methods. First method, I'm gonna explain this to you, but essentially the key theory in the risk management is that you always know the risk before you enter the trade. You must always have your setup in play before you enter the trade and always know the risk before you enter the trade. You must have your setup in play before entering that, okay? I have written this twice, so it's very important. So you guys, so you guys keep this in your mind, okay? This is very important. Before you enter, have the setup, have the plan, stick to it. The method is good. So essentially the, that's the first method. The method is good for low account balances, let's say less than 100K. If you're consistent, you can scale up to 2% risk. But if you're a beginner, start with let's say 0 0.5. You should never take a trade with less than two to one risk reward ratio, even better or equal than three to one, if that's possible. Risk management is important as if, if not more than TA itself, you know. I have, you know, I have this public video on YouTube that I have showed the pyramid. So essentially at the bottom, you have the technical analysis, you move on, you have the risk management, you move on, you have the psychology. So I believe that the risk management is much more important than the TA itself. Longevity is a key. In, you know, you should be aware that you can be invalidated just by one trader, 
on any of your trades. So be aware that the, the, the thing that it takes the trade to be validated is one person. So be aware of this. The second method is, let's say if you're trading a bigger account, the thing that you want to do is you should not risk then 5% of the total portfolio. So let's say I have an example. I'm going to, I'm going to show the example. Never risk more than 5% of the total portfolio equity per trade. Every trade taken is between one and 5% um, from the account and normally at the lower end. So let's say the, the, the 2% on the 1%. So essentially if you have a $5 million account, the max trading size, is gonna be 250k on a trade and the average rate is gonna be like 50k so if you if you're risking the maximum percent is gonna be 250k and the average trade is gonna be 50k as i'm saying this method is working on bigger accounts a few million accounts not uh, not for ones that are let's say below 200k i would say so longevity is key if your risk on any given position is small relative to the capital then you can take a losing streak because you're gonna have losing streaks like it's inevitable it's gonna happen it's gonna happen if you take i have taken multiple calculators just to keep myself in a reality check and it said that there is if you have 50 50 percent win rate over 100 trades there is 20 percent probability that you have 17 losses in a row 17 losses in a row. If, if you cannot survive 17 losses in a row, you're doing something wrong. Because, as I said, over 100 trades, there is 20% probability that you get into a 17 losing trades. You know, 17 losses, one after another. And it's going to be a very big psychological fight, I can tell you that. So be aware of this. You know, it's always good to keep yourself in a reality check using different things so essentially the the reason i use the calculator is just to see am i doing this correctly you know if if i was risking let's say three percent over these 17 trades three times 17 that's like 50 percent loss almost it's my choice my choice either to risk a higher percent or to keep the risk percentage small because i like to risk something between 0 0.5 0 0.3 something like this and if I'm keeping this risk management, I can easily survive in the market. As I have mentioned multiple times in this presentation, it's a longevity process. It's not something that happens today to tomorrow. It's a, it's, it's a marathon, okay? It's not a go and run. So you have to be, have to be strong, psychological, conquer yourself and just be here for the long term. Don't be like, come in, go to Lambo, Bentley, stuff like this. It doesn't work like this. You're going you're gonna, to you're gonna be humbled by the market, essentially. There is no best way to trade. There is no right or wrong ways to trade. Only the way that works for you. A strategy does not have to be complicated. The simpler it is, it's the better the majority of the time. Don't trade with information overload. You do not need a hundred indicators. So I see uh, some people coming inside, you know, the charts, trading view, open five indicators, trade 10 different things, and you know, they, 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 they the neuroplasticity of the brain is not allowing you to absorb this kind of information if you're adding into a strategy or removing from a strategy always ask this is this increasing the profitability or reducing the risk if the answer is yes then add it to the strategy you know as i as i'm saying there is no best way to trade there can be multiple ways but do not get overloaded with information use simple things use things that work and just as i said it's a loop so essentially you just want to be repeating them over and over again so the biggest question what is your edge what is the strategy that you're going to be trading with without a strategy you're gambling you have to know where the trading edge is as a trader you should have no opinion just trade the charts and the chart is never gonna lie to you you have opinion if you have an opinion it's gonna take a loss don't be biased towards an asset don't be biased to bias towards this just you see my candles that are using the candles i'm using are white and the wicks are blue the reason for this it's showing me neutrality okay so you, you know when you're using let's say green and red candles sometimes you can get caught up 
in some kind of bias, bias in my opinion. So be aware of this. Um, that's like a very small psychological trick which you can be using yourself in my opinion. It's gonna be helpful for you. Uh, but you want to be neutral to the chart, you know, you, you don't want to be biased towards where the price is going to go, just, you know, be aware of the scenario if the price goes this way, what you should do, if the price goes this way, what you should do, have a plan what's going to happen, and just trade the plan, that's it. You need to work out your strategy, become consistent and profitable over time, stay humble, there is always something to learn, improve, and become a better trader your trading edge needs to adjust continuously. What works now, maybe it's not gonna work in the future. So be aware of this. Whoever says that he never take a loss is a liar. These are key points that I wanna, um, I wanna outline for you. Have a plan. Know when you're going to get out of the trade before you get in. Stick to your plan always. Treat your trading methodology like a business. Simple, effective, rememberable and journal everything okay this is a very key point journal your trades know what you're doing right know what you're doing wrong and have this feedback loop Th that's again a loop that i'm saying you have to you need to have this feedback loop okay be aware of this key points if you have a profitable plan then you take a losing streak you can adjust it just do not think the plan is totally a failure because you know sometimes when you take let's say five wins in a row you feel overconfident hey i'm gonna increase my size boom you get humbled hey you take five losses in a row okay you think your trading plan is sucks your trading strategy sucks doesn't work you're having this fear inside of you so you keep losing you have to keep your emotions in check because you know being overconfident and being um approaching the market with fear is gonna is gonna this, you're gonna take some kind of a damage okay plans do not need to be over complicated always ask is this increasing profitability or reducing the risk before adjusting your plan if you go in on a losing street don't keep trading take a break do not revenge trade or like increasing the amount of money traded instead reduce it so let's say you, you take a lot you take five losses okay with one percent you lose one percent one percent you minus one minus five percent of the account do not increase the risk to five percent just to get everything back in one trade nah. reduce the risk from one percent to 0 0.5 get that consistency back put yourself back on the track and you know just keep going keep going until eventually from risking 0 0.5 you have made the money back and then you can be increasing the risk for 0 0.5 to 1 again and continue with the loop you know as i'm saying it's a loop it's a feedback loop is a methodology loop don't it, it's a risk management loop it's all kind of a different components that's why i'm saying trading is one of the hardest things to master but it's arguably the most rewarding thing as well so i would say with the closing words you have to be aware of yourself because you need to keep yourself in check as i said in this war you're playing against yourself and the people on the other side of the chart so be aware of this um thanks for watching i'm gonna continue with the educational videos gonna make a whole series about it so Thank you for the attention and if you have any questions you can always ask me in the question section so we can have a nice discussion about anything you are um, interested in. So yeah that's it for now, thank you for watching and have a great day guys.